stomach and they were like oh that's so weird what's that and I'm like oh that's his I can tell that's his foot and they were like oh my god that's so weird Aww. I was like yeah but it's weird when you're like not pregnant but when you're pregnant it's like oh it's just one of those things yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly yeah and um I mean in general how did you you know in 2019 then Edward is born yeah. And, you know, everything, everything else changes. But how did you manage life as a new mom? And, and obviously, you know, with your condition, which mm-hmm. you don't seem to have any condition in my, in my eyes, to be honest, yeah. it's just, it's just uh, uh, surreal, the things that you do and, uh, and the way you, you move in life. Yeah. But uh, how did you, you know, manage everything? So having a visual impairment and like, myself and Dan both have been sight impairments we were both probably a bit anxious that we wouldn't be able to do certain things Mm -hmm. I was more worried that like if like when he was born that I wouldn't be able to like tell if he wasn't feeling very well you know Mm -hmm. if I wouldn't be able to visually see those things I wasn't particularly worried about dirty nappies or anything like that because you could you know you know whether you've cleaned a bum properly or not but like (laughs) with like like him being ill and things I was thinking oh you know this is going to be like really difficult to tell but like when people are not feeling well you can tell anyway just in like the way that they sound that they're Mm -hmm. not well so I could tell if Edward had like a bit of a bug but also like if he's got a rash I could feel the heat of his skin had like changed in certain areas or Mm -hmm. it actually texturally felt different so um I just sort of worked out from there really like about that was my main concern being a first time mum and obviously not being able to see very well yeah but like I'm quite a stubborn person and I like to just get on with things so I try not to let anything ever phase me so Mm -hmm. when I was in hospital with like for the first 24 hours after having Edward um you know they give you a catheter you know they did because I'd obviously had a c-section it's like surgery and I didn't realize like it's actually quite like it's a big deal like I didn't realize at the time but I basically did not want to use this catheter and I was like look I want to go and get a shower I want to feel <laughs> human like I'm not going to just be like bed bathed I need to get up and move around and they they really didn't want me to and I'm not going to lie it was quite painful because the stitches were obviously very fresh mm-hmm. but I just forced myself to get up and have I told them that the, the catheter needs to come out and I was like forced myself to get up and like I need a shower and that was like me sort of like just being like no I'm gonna I'm just gonna crack on and like just do everything try and be as normal as possible so when I came out of hospital like obviously you're not supposed to leave the house for a week after you've had a Mm c-section I was I was out the next day I was like no I'm done going into town I want to sit in the park it's a nice day I just Mm -hmm. carried on as normal even though I was in quite a lot of pain um two weeks after he was born I took him down to the track just so people could meet him and you know I don't know it was just it was a bit strange sort of yeah it was Mm. it was strange for me being there and having a child Um, but it was really (laughs) nice just like him being in the environment that he's basically been in for the past like nine months and not obviously seen um Mm. so it was lovely it was really nice and then two weeks after that so he was four weeks old I went back to training and I, I literally just did walking drills. Like I didn't do anything of any level of intensity. It was more like yoga and like Pilates sort of movements rather than yeah. anything excessive. Chilled out. Just yeah, way more chilled. While you recover. Mm. <laughs> Definitely. Recovery is important as well. Yeah. And like when you have a baby, when you're pregnant, your body changes and your proprioception changes so all your balance and things changes but you don't realize at the time because it gradually happens over nine months so you don't notice but as soon as the baby's out of you like when I went back to doing like normal drills again so like walking drills and things my feet felt weird like my body positions weren't right I basically felt like my limbs weren't attached to my actual body it felt like somebody Mm -hmm. else was in control of them they felt everywhere and everything just felt like really loose and like I've got people that train in my group that have got cerebral palsy and I was like I'm running um like them like I've got a physical impairment because my body just had no control I had no control (laughs) over it at all and they were they all thought it was really funny that I'd just gone from being able to run 
pretty normally to like even though I was obviously pregnant to like just looking like a total wally sometimes and mm. like having no control of myself <laughs> um 